So I'm here with Patrick Mukala, 12, 2, and 1. Great performance. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, feeling strong, feeling good, feeling happy. After my fight, I did great. I did exactly what we practiced in the gym. Yeah. So it's been just over two years since your last fight, since you last stepped in the ring. How does it feel being back? Yeah, it feels good. Eh? It feels good after two years out of the ring. So between those two years, I've been in the gym training, preparing for any time for this moment, though. So I mean, I've been in the camp training like for two, two years because I never stopped training. Even during the COVID, I was training at home, coming at the gym if it's needs. Yeah. So what was your game plan going into the fight? Because it was a pretty short fight. So did you actually expect it to, to go the way that it went? Yeah, the plan was to box. The plan was to box. But the, the, the kill came, so it happened. So I was preparing to box the whole eight round. That's what was the plan. But um, the kill came at round three, so this is boxing. Speaking of that knockout, you were initially caught in the opening rounds and you ended it in round three with a beautiful knockout punch. Um, tell us what was going through your mind at that time. Uh, he caught me with a straight right hand. It wasn't uh, really a uh, strong one. I just gave him a small. So I was just relaxing and keep minding what the plan we, we had with for, for the fight. Yeah. So with that being said, uh, from your performance, what would you rate yourself out of 10 and tell us why? Yeah, um, I'm, I would say 10. 10 on 10 because... I've did everything we did, uh, my team prepared for me. We did it. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm happy and grateful for that. And what would you rate your opponent? Do you think he did well in the fight or do you think he did well in the opening rounds before you knocked him out? Uh, what I, I'll think about him is um, I would chat to him. Is slow for me. I could see all... The shorts was trying to me. I could see them. He was, he's a tough guy. I mean, strong guy, not tough. He's slow. I will tell him to work more on the speed, on the movement, not focusing on the, the power. Try to box, because this is boxing. You need to box. The, um, instead of, instead of uh, looking for the no card, no card comes. There's a bonus. You know, bonus, I mean, though. So you need to focus on the boxing. If the girl comes, it comes. So... That's what I will tell him. So this is your 15th fight, right? Yes. Um, how does this compare to your last 14 fights? Do you think you've improved since then? Yes, yes. I've improved a lot. I've improved a lot. Uh, I think uh, people could see how I've changed my style. Because before, uh, I could come just for knockout. If, if you could see on my record, I got about 11, 12 knockouts. So at least I've boxed all the first, the first round, all the first round on my record, I always knock the, the guys out. But I, I always come for the, for the knockout. But this fight, I came to box and the KO came. So I think um, I'm uh, happy for that. I'm happy. So obviously it's way too now for Patrick Mukala, but they are good boxers in your division such as Rowan, you can rematch against Rowan Campbell or you can rematch against Rhino Liebenberg, he's back in the boxing, um, boxing world so where to now for Patrick Mugala? Yeah, uh, as I said I'll be very happy when, if I'll get my, my revenge for those two fights you know, I'm open for that I'm happy and I'm sure they'll see a different Patrick you know, I would be happy to have a rematch with Rowan or uh, Rhino. But uh, actually, Rhino is retired. I'm sure uh, Rowan can give me the rematch, so I'd be happy. And any last uh, words? Thank you to any family, f sponsors, or f uh, friends? Okay, um, I want to say thanks to God for the victory because he's my shepherd, he's everything for me. I put him first. And secondly, I want to thank my team, um, Jody Solomon. 
and Shadow, the Zulu boy. I love you. I love all of you. Thanks for uh, thanks for all joining for advice. Thanks my my all my friends the world in South Africa wherever. My parents, my dad, my young brother Cedric, my all my family, my brother here uh, Buxon. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the prayers. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah.